You've seen Times Square and all the other iconic New York City stuff, but this is Lila's first time in New York City. So we're gonna show you 10 unique spots that even New Yorkers don't know about. We're having a nice day. I mean, some of them, they might recognize one or two. Of them. Tardy White, way quieter than the sound of the city. So I'm really excited to see what else we see up here. Between 1929 and 1934, they built a rail system above street level to make a little more room down there. And it was primarily used for produce. Eventually it fell into disuse, so they turned it into the High Line, which is a one and a half mile park above street level. It's awesome because the views, the buildings. That's the Empire State Building the things that you see, the people that you meet. There's tons of places to sit, and it's just kind of a peaceful, relaxing escape from the hustle and bustle of the city that's just below. So back there were the galleries up above, and they were shooting a show called Just Like That, an HBO show. Don't know who the talent was, though. Can you tell from the back of her head? I am completely loving the city. We've actually ran into somebody that's a local and he's been walking with us. Didn't want to be on camera, but has given us some of the most incredible insight to New York. I can't wait. I am actually just saw the Statue of Liberty for a second out of the corner of my eye. And I don't know why it brought me emotional. In 2021, they just completed a little island. It's uh, built for all New Yorkers and all visitors uh, as in a chance to escape the hustle and bustle the city and get back to nature. With views of the Hudson River, of the skyline, of the city behind you, and over here we can even see in the distance the Statue of Liberty. And we are really fortunate that we landed on what New Yorkers are calling one of the best days that they've had in a long time. It's quite sunny, it's not too cold. By not too cold, that's because <laughs> she grew up in Illinois, I grew up in California, it's freezing for me. It's like in the 30s. This is a very restricted area. There you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Anytime, man. The things my wife will do when a camera's pointed at her. This is the meat district which I guess used to be meat, but now it's a dish with all kinds of cool stores and stuff. If you talk to a city guy, I guess they'll let you put your hands on the cement. What I'm impressed with is how New York is really taking care of some of its history. Instead of just knocking down buildings, they're restoring businesses, they're restoring areas. Including this cobblestone street, that's what those guys are doing. I think New Yorkers get a bad rap. A lot of people think that maybe they're just not nice, but talking to our new buddy Zai Long, he said that New Yorkers are just direct. But if they have time, <laughs> but if they have time, they'll take time for you. And so far, everybody's been super cool. Okay, this isn't unique, but you gotta just stop by one of these tiny shops and get pizza if you're in New York. I mean, <laughs> duh. It yeah. is the best pizza in this area. I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's the best pizza in New York, but we are top 10. Remember us, finished pizza. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Really good. Thanks, David. There's a ton of public transportation here. But one thing you want to make sure you do is just walk the streets. There's so much to see in terms of architecture and people and businesses. And get, get outside the touristy areas and just walk the streets of New York. You're, you won't be disappointed. Restaurants need to make the most of the space, so they sometimes have stuff like this. Look at this dining car. There's so much influence from so many different cultures. Every street seems a little different. There's a little bit of different influence in each building. I'm just fascinated. If you're into anything art or anything historical, New York. Here's something you don't see a lot of back home. The dungeon. They keep the dragons down there, I think. In 1927, one fourth of the US's printing was done right here in New York City, mostly in this. That's the, uh, the master printer's building. Washington Square Park. Lots of locals here, lots of birds. How long have you been doing this, Larry? Look behind you, look up on He just called them from over on that ledge. Oh, quite a while. 13 years now, wow. A couple of bird people, Larry and Alyssa. Just put your hand out like that. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. Oh man. These are 
Washington Square Park pigeons. They live in the window sills of all these buildings because originally it's believed they come from the crevices and mountains of Afghanistan. If you just stop and talk to people, it can be a really fascinating experience and learning like why people are here and you know, they have a whole different opinion of like New York right now or New Yorkers. So we asked like, what is Washington Square Park known for? And she's like, it was an old parade ground and then it was a potter's field. Do you know what a potter's field is? Look it up. You can't quite, I don't know, I've seen it a million times in movies and people have talked about it, but I'm pretty much in crazy awe, even in this craziness and hustle and bustle of awe. It's really impressive. It's a must see, must do. I've seen a lot of bridges, but nothing quite like this. And you've got pedestrian traffic, you have bike traffic, car traffic, and it's just beautiful abuse of the, of the skyline. If you've never walked across the Brooklyn Bridge or taken a bike, dude. What I've loved about New York is just the people we've met so far. My first time on the subway, and we were trying to make take the subway back into the city. We were able to meet these ladies. Oh, but Belgium, father, daughter, flight attendant. Brussels Airlines, the best company in the world. What, uh, what's great about Brussels Airlines? Why is it amazing? Uh, the service is a forged hospitality, yeah. Of the extra smile. <laughs> extra smile. <laughs> So I dropped my mic off the Brooklyn Bridge. But luckily, we're only half a block from here. So I got a, got a new mic. The other one's still under the Brooklyn Bridge. This is the last call. Oh, no. I'll put you in the candle light. We're in Moynihan Train Hall, but I guess that's still Penn Station. You don't know who Patrick Moynihan is? Do you? Yes. Who is he? So right now we're in Penn Station properly, which looks more like the uh, the old Penn Station. Up there in Moynihan Hall, that's just the newer section. But down here is like, okay, we're in the tunnels, trains going over us, it's terrifying. I think we found. Half the fun is figuring out where to go. Prospect Park is a 500 acre park that was made about 150 years ago by the same guy that made Central Park, at least he designed it. The difference is this one's in Brooklyn and it's way quieter. Like, listen, listen. You can barely hear traffic here. Kind of cool this time of year in the winter, it's a little bit brown, but green and just glorious during the spring, maybe. We have like a nice garden. We have the zoo and we have the carousel where people come in here, they jog, they buy their bikes, they bring their children. And actually we have the botanical garden, which is across the street. So if you're looking to really escape all the noise and the crowds of the city, this was where I would come. Bushwick Collective used to be kind of a rough section of town, but they came through and there's a lot of wall murals and street art here and now it's kind of an art district and might be, might be worth a visit. You get like insane, crazy, beautiful art everywhere you look, even on the trucks. You had to ride one of these things? I think so. If you want an adrenaline rush, rent a bike. To see us do more crazy stuff, hit subscribe. There's nothing quite like riding a bike through New York City during rush hour. The odds of survival are about 50-50, and to get anywhere, you kind of need to be cautiously aggressive. In New York, you gotta drive like you mean it, baby. But seriously, be careful. It was dangerously terrifying. Especially when we crossed this bridge, which I'm not sure we were even supposed to be riding on. I think it's a freeway. We lost Leela to construction. Look at this, there is construction everywhere, always in New York. This drawbridge, on the other hand, was ready for us and pretty nifty to ride across. If you're not paying attention, you'll miss it, but here at 55 Water, we have the elevated acre. Sometimes you got an escalator, but we only got the stairs. 
Don't see a lot of traffic up here right now. It's this secret little acre plot in between the buildings. Over this way, you get an epic view of the skyline of... That is the Brooklyn Bridge right there. That's Brooklyn. This guy's coming in to give us a ride. We're getting a little crazier with each adventure. You know, doing stuff people our age probably shouldn't be doing. To see something even more terrifying, click right here.